here's our advice on this. Remember, socialization is exposure to, not contact with. Here is the human analogy that can guide you through this process. Let's say you're my only sister, and I have two best friends, two male friends that you find disgusting, repulsive. <laughs> they are uh, nothing but an irritation to you, and you hate them. My only friends, my only sister, I'd like for you to get together so we all watch the ball game together. So I tell my friends, she finds you disgusting. So when I invite her over for the game, I want you to work on her. I want you to sit next to her on the couch and put your arm around her, whisper things to her, feed her snacks, hold her hand. I want you to work on her, contact, socialize with her. Would that help my sister? Would you like that better than it works? No, it works. What you're doing is actually fuel in the fire. He said, that's what I was afraid of. Didn't want that disgusting touch. It's not only disgusting, it's frightening to me. Now, what if I told my friends, same situation, she finds you disgusting. I'd love to get together. We want to watch a ball game. I'm going to invite her over. Here's my advice. Leave her be. Don't talk to her. Unless she asks you a question, be polite. If she sits on the couch, she's on the chair. If she sits on the chair, she's on the couch. If uh, you get something to drink, you might offer something to her, but don't share your drink with her. Give her some space. At the end of the evening, you'll still say, I don't care for her, but it was doable. After three games, they're okay, I guess. Four games, five games of minding their manners. Yeah, they come over my house dinner too. They're all right. Same thing I do with dogs for socializing. So any dog get rescued that does not get on people well, remember, don't force the contact. It is nothing but, truthfully, nothing but reassures to him, yeah, I knew it was going to happen. Yep. I knew this was going to be disgusting and frightening, and therefore I'm ready. Now, if you control the situation, let's say in this handler's particular case, she's got this new guy who is on edge, frightened, and he's being approached by some folks. They said, oh, what a pretty thing, he's frightened. Oh, let me, her job is to say, ah, give me a chance. You don't have to go into detail about why he's in the state he's in. You can simply say, he's in training, give him some space.